Hello, in this video we're going to go over the linear repeater, matrix repeater and circular repeater. The linear repeater takes a source object and makes a number of copies. So let's make a solid and sphere the radius of 50. Create. Let's say we want to copy it five times in the y direction. So we go to linear repeater, right click, properties. So the source we want is the part one that we just created. We want to zero in the x direction and we'll want 100 in the y direction. Then the count we want five so if we go to view and apply oh it only does one thing at a time apply you can see that it creates five it can increase the distance so let's say we want 200 And we can do it at any angle we want. So let's do an x of 100, maybe a z of 300. The next smart component we're going to look at is the matrix repeater. This is similar to the linear repeater, but we can copy it in the x, y, and z direction. As before we have that sphere called part one. So we can select part one. At the minute the count is one, so it's only going to create one copy if we hide the original part. So let's say we want five in X, six in Y and three in Z and apply, we got a whole bunch of spheres. We can also, as before, increase the offsets, say 50, 200, and 150. These properties can also be animated, so let's add a Timer. What happens if we just use the current time to let's say count x? So we go over to simulation and play. You can see that as the seconds increase, the final one on this list is the circular repeater. This creates a number of copies of the source around a point with a given radius. So let's, again, we have this sphere that is called pot one. We have one, if we apply, you can see that it generates a part 100 millimeters away. Let's add the count to two and apply. We'll see that it generates two in the same position. And let's offset the second one by 45 degrees. We can increase this to four. And the spacing, the angle between each sphere is 45 degrees. A full circle, we can add nine. Let's decrease the radius by 500. can increase the count to 50 and it won't do anything because each time it's copying in the same position but now we can decrease this angle to let's say 10 even lower 5 we can see that it copies the part each time by five degrees, 
till it reaches 50 and then stops. As an example, we can animate the radius by sine value. So if we press play, see that the radius increases and decreases based on the time. That's it for this video. Next time we can go over the sensors. Thank you for watching. See you next time.